whole life. It's pretty much my passion in life, except for that, of course. But um, I am in a band. I've been in a band since I was probably 16 years old. So here, um, been in bands, yep. Pretty much, yeah. Since I was been in sixteen, since I was sixteen years old, I've been in bands. So I have played the violin since like third grade, and then uh, since middle school, I've uh, been involved in theater, which is very musical in that singing, dancing. So. Yeah. So I took lessons right from when I was four to about eleven or twelve, and then I stopped playing for about three years. And when I was about fourteen, um, we had a really nice piano in America, so then I just started playing again, and now I just. I had a really good musical background from learning like theory and um, actually reading music and then I just started playing anything that I wanted and just playing by ear in YouTube videos. What math classes have you taken in high school? Okay, so my freshman year I took pre-IP geometry and then my sophomore year I took pre-IP algebra 2 and then my junior year pre-IP pre-cal and then now that I'm a senior, I'm taking AP, AB Calculus. So in high school, I've taken Algebra 2, Pre-Cal, uh, Statistics, and BC Calculus now this year. What is the name of your band? The name of my band is Venomous Maximus, and I play bass guitar. What made you become a math teacher? I've always looked at math as being my favorite subject. To me, it's always, always the fun part of the day. It's always the, the puzzle game, game period. So. I've loved it ever since I was a kid. I um, got my degree in math in college. And when I was in college, I was always helping all my friends with math. And so they always kind of pushed me and told me I should be a teacher. And so I eventually did. <laughs> this is my 11th year. Also, are your band members, are they somehow involved in mathematics? Like if they have a side career job Not at all. math? Not, Not at all. all. My singer is a tattoo artist. My drummer um, builds motorcycles and my guitar player books bands and sets up tours. So I'm definitely the square. <laughs> I think that music and math definitely, definitely related. There's a lot of, I'm sure, underlying ma mathematical patterns in a lot of music, and like the structure of music, and how instruments are tuned, uh, yeah, I guess how scales are put together. So yeah, definitely math is an integral part of music, I would say. Awesome. The whole foundation of music is math. Um, scales, the patterns, um, for instance, octaves, like if you take a string and you cut it in half, that's going to be one octave, like, like low E, then you cut it in half, you hit that middle fret, the 12th fret, which is cutting the string in half, e, e, it's going to be one octave up. If you cut that in half, it'll be an octave up from that, and so on and so on and so forth. Well, there's no denying that there's definitely a certain precision to mathematics. What really intrigues me about the subject is that there's always either a right answer or a wrong answer. And I really like that. And in music, there's, it's kind of the same thing. You either hit the right note or you hit the wrong note and you kind of have an off chord. And so I find a real connection with music and math in the fact that there's such a precision with both of them and there's a perfection that you're trying to reach. How do you incorporate math into the music you play? I think math definitely can help you with rhythm. I mean, rhythm is something that's very math-based. If you can have like these complicated rhythms, you can break them down mathematically. So that's definitely how I use math. Okay, well, in mathematics, formulas and patterns are definitely the backbone of the subject. And with music, I think that rhythm is the backbone the, of the instrument. And so, um, with ma like, the two and two both have patterns, and so, I'm, I'm good with patterns with math, and so I kind of carry that on into my music. I, it's all about working with the patterns you know. And, and Also, I would say that music comes into my math a lot as well. Music, definitely, playing my instrument, definitely, it's, it's my escape from reality. It's when I'm playing piano, I'm not thinking about anything. It's so calming and so beautiful for me to play. And, I, you know, I listen to piano while I'm doing my math homework because it has that that pattern, that repetition, the exact same thing that math has. And, um, you know, it helps relax me, helps me focus on the problem, helps me get in a good rhythm, just as there's rhythm in a piano. Daniel, you said that you take music theory, and so can you just kind of tell us what it's all about, a gist of it? Sure, so the, uh, the music theory class is, um, is mainly focused on, in, on writing, 
music sort of part writing. We do a lot of part writing where you learn different chords, you learn how chords resolve, how you should um, how you should write those chords with like a choral voicing. But we also do oral training where you um, where you're played a section of music and you have to uh, let's say like write down the bass the bass notes or you write down the the harmonies, write down the chord progression, stuff like that. So yeah, it's it's a fun class. What musician do you look up to? I think the musician that I look up to the most is uh, Kanye West, for sure. And what do you like about him? I like the the way that Kanye creates his I mean his beats. They're like very well. They were very soul influenced, and I really like that he manages to combine soul and then the like the drums of hip hop. Really cool. And then if you could either work with Kanye West or the best mathematician out there, who would you choose? I think they're both, both noble goals, but I'd have to choose Kanye West. If you stop playing music, do you think that your math grades would go down? Definitely, because music, like I said, music is my gateway into a whole different realm of life. And music has helped me with every aspect of my life, not just math, but it is how, it, it's so nice to come home from a stressful day and just play piano. And after I play piano, I can, I feel relaxed, I feel ready to just go on with my life. How do you think mathematics has assisted you in furthering your music career? Uh, like we said, being able to recognize the patterns of scales and um, just the whole underlying foundation being math-based has really helped you writing songs and um, figuring out what notes you go with which ones. How has being a musician helped you become a better math teacher? I guess me being comfortable in front of people, being able to stand in front of like and stand in front of thirty kids, thirty students isn't that big of a deal. Seeing as how I played in front of two thousand people before, so I guess it's kind of good. it makes you used to it makes you used to the lies being on you and having to having to perform. I guess to some degree. Both math and music very much complement each other. Um, good musicians are always good at math because reading music, understanding reading music is like reading another language. And math is another language to people. Music is a way for people from all different countries, speaking all different languages, can connect, just like math. It's the same no matter where you live in the world. And I think that people who are drawn to numbers and drawn to that kind of communication via things other than actual speaking, I think that music draws them too because it's a way to evoke sad emotions, happy emotions, playful emotions. Um, you can evoke all that through music and you can evoke all your um, knowledge through math. So. Mm -hmm.